If you come to the west coast of North America, you might see an animal that everyone loves, and that is the California sea lion. In this video, I will dive into some interesting facts about these adorable animals and teach you some fascinating science you might have never heard before. My name is Eddie, I am a wildlife biologist, and I love to not only teach people about nature, but also give tips on how to enjoy nature. So be sure to subscribe, and more importantly, hit the bell for notifications. As you probably already know, sea lions are marine mammals and are pinnipeds, which also includes seals and walruses. Their average lifespan is around 20 years, and they eat a variety of seafood, but mainly squid and fish. They will either forage solo or in groups and have even been shown to coordinate foraging with other large marine mammals like dolphins. They have a long list of physical adaptations to thrive in the marine environment. For example, in order to reduce drag when swimming, they have a streamlined body and rely on their fore flippers to propel themselves, which allows them to swim faster. In fact, they can swim all the way up to 25 miles per hour. Sea lions have been estimated to dive past 200 meters below the surface and will typically remain underwater for multiple minutes. They have evolved ways to store oxygen in order to adapt to a lack of oxygen while diving. For example, they have larger red blood cells that contain more hemoglobin, which are oxygen binding molecules in comparison to terrestrial mammals of similar size. They also have relatively more myoglobin which is another oxygen binding protein in their muscle cells, allowing them to store more oxygen in their muscles. It was always thought that pinnipeds shared an evolutionary common ancestor that lived on land, but it wasn't until 2009 that scientists discovered fossil evidence of this common ancestor. The ancient species Pugilla darwini, which lived in the Arctic between five and 23 million years ago, could be that missing link. It probably spent time in both water and on land, was about three and a half feet long with short legs and a long tail, and probably had webbed feet resembling today's modern giant otter. And by the way, if you come to the west coast of North America, you may see sea lions as well as other pinnipeds, which of course are seals. So how can you tell apart sea lions and seals? Well, sea lions are brown, they bark loudly, <laughs> They walk around on land using their large flippers and they have visible ear flaps if you look closely. Seals on the other hand, have small flippers, wriggle on their bellies on the land and lack visible ear flaps. California sea lions are highly polygynous and mate in harems in which a male will establish a territory and mate up to 14 females and defend his territory from other males. This mating system is common with other species of pinnipeds and interestingly a study showed that the average size of the harem of a species of pinniped is positively correlated with the average male body size of a species of pinniped. That would suggest what you might expect, which is that males that are bigger in size tend to win over territories and have more success in mating. Now, when it comes to the conservation of California sea lions, we have good news. Their population has increased to about three times over the past 40 years. And before the Marine Mammal Protection Act was signed in 1972, California sea lions were in trouble, primarily due to overhunting, but this act made it illegal to kill, hunt, or harass any marine mammal in U.S. waters. According to a study done by the NOAA, the population of California sea lions was below 90,000 in 1975, 
but grew to reach its population capacity of around 280,000 in 2008. In 2012, its population peaked above 300,000 but dropped to around 250,000 in 2013, which was due to unusually warm water currents that affected their food sources. Though numbers of California sea lions are doing extremely well at the moment, the future of warming of water temperatures raises some concern. Lastly, I will give you a tip about encountering sea lions or any marine mammal in the wild, and that is to keep your distance. If you are getting close enough to any marine mammal so that you are altering its behavior, you are too close. Of course, I have some footage here where I was only meters away from some of these animals, but in all situations, the animals approached me instead of me approaching them. This video was also shot at the La Jolla Cove in San Diego where the sea lions are fairly well accustomed to the presence of humans, but no matter where you encounter a marine mammal, you need to give the animal its respect. Sea lions and seals, as you can probably tell from the footage, are generally friendly if not harassed, so you should not panic if they approach you in the water. However, if you stress out a sea lion or seal by approaching it, they can bite and that would be tragic. So. Don't be scared of snorkeling with pinnipeds in the wild because it is one of the coolest wildlife experiences you will ever have. Just be cautious. So that is all I have for today. Thank you everyone and be sure to subscribe and click notifications.